Uh, basically, you know, uh, you know, I've been kind of like a, a, a underdog, you know, and uh, just just still working hard throughout everything and just learning from, you know, a uh, couple players in front of me like Avery and John before he, you know, he got hurt. And uh, you know, I just keep continuing to work, and you know, uh, it's paid off. And you know, I got my shot in a big game where, you know, we we had some. Key, key losses with Avery going down and so uh, I had to step in and uh, just go back to my training and, and uh, perform. You know. What did you learn from those two guys, specifically John and Avery? Uh, well, from John, I just learned like real, really about uh, leadership and you know, just how to uh, do everything right, be on time and just start with the little things and that'll help pay off for, you know, the big things and playing in big games and uh, Avery just, uh, you know, a passion to play hard and know all your assignments and uh, just go all out and give good effort. You mentioned yourself playing in a big game and stepping up. How much confidence did you have in yourself uh, to step up in that situation? And I guess how much was that was it validated? Um, you know, well, I just, I've always had confidence in myself, but uh, it was a real big just con confidence booster. And, you know, I was, it was, it was a moment I've been waiting on my whole life. And, uh, you know, I finally got the opportunity. So it was, it was a humbling experience and, uh, you know, uh, just look to go forward from there. Pretty exciting experience as well, I imagine. Yeah, it is. It was. It was, uh, you know, just under the lights. I mean, because I played in the games before, but, you know, my role wasn't as big. And, you know, it was just real exciting. My dad was proud. Uh, you know, everybody back home was setting me up and telling me uh, how, how good of a job I did, and even my coaches. So, you know, it made me feel real good. That's great. That's yeah. great. For, heading forward now to this week, it's a similar situation, but you know now, you know, ahead it's going to be that changed uh, Well, just a little bit because, you know, uh, I mean, with every game, I still come in with the mindset that I am a starter, but just uh, the extra pressure to actually have to perform, you know, uh, I, I'm concentrating a little bit more because, you know, that that much more is on the line now. Now I know that I have to come through for my teammates and, uh, you know, I, you know, I owe it to, you know, Avery for, you know, getting the opportunity. So, you know, I have to step up and play big. Have you talked to Avery in the past few days? Obviously you have. What have you talked to Avery about? Well, basically, actually, Avery's been talking to me and just telling me that, you know, now I have to step up and think of myself as a starter. And, you know, it's all on me now. And, you know, he has the confidence in me. And, you know, any situation, I'm ready to go, whether any position on the field. How are you guys able to keep your spirits up in the secondary? Like you said, it seems like one big loss after another throughout um, the defense. I mean, have you guys been able to keep your spirits up this week? Yeah, we have. We have because um, Avery hasn't gotten surgery yet. And, uh, you know, he's still been around. He's still moving around uh, as a guy. And, you know, so that just lets us know that he's, he's with us through every step. And uh, he always – tells us motivating things that, you know, just helps us get by. And at the end of the day, you know, we have to be ready to go regardless. Good, so, good yeah. to see Boyd around. He hasn't been around for a while. It's yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's good to see John. Uh, he just stepped back in the building today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's it's rejuvenating in yeah. a sense. And uh, just to see uh, the progress that we've made without him being here. And, uh, you know, we did a good job. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. more pressure, I guess, James, as you – you're in this situation, you know, undefeated team, number one in the country. Is there any more pressure to step up and really play your best? Yeah, it, it is. It is uh, actually a lot of added pressure. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I kind of thrive on just knowing that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I have to make the best of it now to make a name for myself. This has got to be surreal. I mean, did you ever think when you came here that you'd be playing for a top ranked team with so much on the line and, and then have a big role? Well, just the way how Coach Kelly has the program going, I knew it would head in that direction. And uh, I knew it would come, but I didn't know it would come this quick. So it's kind of surreal in a sense. And I just, you know, really enjoying it. Stan, finally, the Stanford, uh, their offense, uh, it, it looks, uh, what do you see from them on tape? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a hard running team, uh, they run a lot of pro. Pro sets. It's basically like playing the NFL team. So uh, I like how our defense is going to line up with them. And, you know, it's just we just have to take one game at a time. And I'm sure we'll come out with the win to get the job done.
they're probably going to be matched up against those big tight ends, six eight and six six. Yeah, that's a that's a big size difference. There. How do you do that? Uh, I mean, basically, it just goes back to your preparation and uh, just technique and fundamentals, and you know, just outplaying everybody to the end of the route, um, and just you know, go out, going out there and having fun and confidence in yourself. That's how you match up with that.